won't buy you love. The death is always free. Gotta play my little clown game. <laughs> So uh, yeah, we're here at the Scare House in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, this was still this is still a family business. It was started by my wife and my dad and I. The three Simmonses own the Scare House. It's been around for quite some time. I actually met my wife Barb working at a haunted house many years ago. I, I was a little surprised to realize I've been doing haunted houses in one form or another for more than 25 years. Uh, we were doing haunted houses back when they were really low budget affairs. You know, this was before the internet, before the videos, before the associations, back when you would just get a bunch of kids together and say, let's put on a haunted house. I've been running the Bates Motel for about 20 years and was approached by Richard Chikagian, who's the property owner here. And he asked me to uh, do some consulting and talk about uh, getting involved with uh, building a haunted attraction at the old Penner School. Uh, I came out, when I looked at the place, uh, I was totally blown away by the property. I knew this would turn out to be uh, a really big, phenomenal one. We really focus on our top to bottom detail. Our design begins in January, so we're already working on the haunt right now. Um, the haunt won't be complete, of course, as you guys know as haunters, until the day we open. And by day, what I really mean is when the first patrons are walking in the room. Um, but it makes yeah. this guy here a little bit nervous. Uh, the House of Shock is unlike any other place on Earth. We do not operate like uh, any other haunted house ever. We're completely volunteer. We have about 400 volunteers in this thing, and one of them is coming out of the bathroom right now. He probably took a leak. He did. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks, bro. Now get you. Oh my God. Well, not scary farms. Halloween haunt is the largest theme haunt event in the world. Uh, we have, last year, we had uh, 13 mazes, uh, seven shows, and three scare zones. And it just, uh, it's an event that takes over the whole park and um, does a pretty good job of finding whatever's gonna scare you. Not Scary Farms Halloween Haunt has been around for 40 years, this coming October. And um, it did, it started very simply. It was a couple of employees getting together, going to Walter Knott, the founder of Not Scary Farm, and asking to do some decorations in one of the attractions and some of the food locations. Um, since then, it has grown incredibly. Um, we're now last year, we had you know, 13 mazes. We had uh, three scare zones and seven live shows. And I think the thing that sets us apart is just it's an all-encompassing event. And the moment you walk in that gate, it's like you're in a living horror movie. The House of Torment um, is actually two haunted houses. Uh, the main show is a post-apocalyptic zombie-ridden city that thematically changes uh, from year to year. Uh, Cursed is a haunted house that was built from the ground up last year. Um, and it is like a combination of a Mayan temple, a jungle, uh, haunted caves, and a pirate ship crashed into a rocky shore. In 2003, I started uh, here in Austin with the House of Torment. Um, that's the first year that I met John, and he started working with me in the haunted house. And since then, we've been, you know, making new gains every year and growing our business. And we've uh, been in this location since about 2005. Uh, you know, I guess my, my background comes from horror, and you know, I, it kind of makes sense that now I'm the one making these things and scaring people. Because I guess my drawings used to scare uh, my teachers. And <laughs> it's just evolved at this point. We started this company. He started in the special effects industry. I started in the haunted attraction industry. It became a perfect marriage between uh, the two of us. I, I understand the durability that these masks need to go through. Uh, because of uh, being in charge of a lot of these actors, and he he knows the durability because of uh, of these these masks being off film. So uh, I, I, we believe it's a perfect marriage between the two. I, I personally kind of like the uh, the thing mask. I, I you know I sculpted it, but you know I I don't like it because I sculpted it. But I just like it just because it feels just so different. I'm kind of interested to see how people will take to it and. Uh, I feel like uh, 
it's I like its you know uh, versatility. You know, uh, it could be used for something just completely out there, like with the teeth, or it could be used as a uh, you know severe head trauma victim. But uh, for me personally, this year that's my favorite. Um, my favorite personally is the primate. Um, I, I think it's the closest realistic match I think we've, we've done so far. Uh, you take, you do hair punching on it, you take it to the next level, you go from anywhere from a chimp to a yeti. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's my favorite match so, that we've done so far. Doesn't that sound like fun? I know I'm gonna enjoy it. <laughs>